Hey, hey, come here, come here. Oh, how was your nap, my woman? How was it? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? There. Oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait, oh wait. Here we go. There we go. Is that better? Good girl. Right, so, hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with my little Florence, um, and we are gonna film, I couldn't even tell how many weeks she is, I think she's, she's five months, she'll turn six months on the 19th of September, and we are currently the second when filming this. So, I'm gonna call it a six month update, which makes me feel slightly sick, not gonna lie. What has happened in these last six months? Like, global pandemic. It's insane. So, I'm not gonna lie, I don't really know what I'm gonna say because, I don't know, like, what do you say in these updates? What do you wanna know? I've asked some questions. So I'm just gonna sit and ramble for a little bit, like always, uh, and then I'll answer some of your questions. So, my little Florence is just the best I just love her so much um I don't know how much she weighs because she hasn't ever been weighed since we got discharged by the midwife when she was 11 days old she's definitely over a stone uh, she is heavy she's a lot heavier than what P is or was I should say um she's just P was very delicate and um very sensitive and just very very small whereas Florence is just chunkier she's more robust and I definitely think when she's older she's going to resemble me and my body shape a lot more than what P does with me I think when P was small she really looked like me and then she just suddenly changed and was all Neil whereas I feel like with Florence I could be wrong I feel like she's all me just like the cheeks the, her, how she is just everything about her I feel like is just more me than what what P was and um, like even down to like her hair and things like that I just think is more me whereas P's quite dark whereas Florence is more like of a fairer brown I know my hair looks dark brown but it's not it's a lot lighter than what Neil's is um she's got Neil's eyelashes which is a is the dream Neil's got the best eyelashes so both the children have inherited that and again I think Florence's nose is more than mine whereas P's is more of Neil's um she's just more chunky she's currently in three to six months clothes but she can quite easily go into six to nine months grows as in like her feet are just so much bigger than what I've ever obviously experienced when P went into her first shoes they were a 2F I think Florence is going to go straight into like a four. I don't think she's ever, like, her feet will be that small. Um, so, yeah, she's just bigger in general. So, like I said, she's in three to six month grows. I reckon I could probably get her or get away with that for, like, another couple of weeks. And then she'll go into six to nine. P didn't go into six to nine until she was, like, I think it was, like, one and a half. One. I honestly couldn't tell you. But she is just growing completely differently. Um, what what what's our routine, Florence? We don't. To be honest, we don't really have a routine. Um, and I know that that's what loads of people have been asking in the questions, especially, and I'll answer those at the end. Um, like, what's your routine and things like that? We get up. It depends when Florence has or wakes up and wants her first feed. She's still in with us. She's in. Where's the crib? There's the crib. She's in the next to me crib. She went into that really early compared to what P did. Again, she just outgrew her Moses basket. I think P was in her Moses basket until like five months, which is crazy. Um, so she wakes up anywhere between half six and half seven. She has a feed. Then I get her ready for the day. And because we don't necessarily have a routine ourselves in the sense of I'm not getting up going to school. If you ask me what my routine is in two months time, it will com be completely different to what it is now. For the past six months, I haven't had to have a routine because we're not going anywhere. We're not doing anything. Like, yes, okay, we're able to do a bit more than what we were when I first had her. But I just don't see the point. I hate going to parks at the moment and 
going to places because it's so busy and it just stresses me out even though people will be going back to school I think it's more structured whereas going out at the moment is just I just don't enjoy it and to be honest not, neither does P she's at the stage where she doesn't necessarily appreciate things so I'm bored when we get to the beach after 15 minutes and it's like why do I bother um that's a different kettle of fish um so our routine isn't necessarily that structured at the moment which is very unlike me um so she'll have a feed at between half six and seven half seven then she'll sit in the kitchen with me in her high chair and just play with her toys i say play shove them in her mouth um she then has a, a morning nap but again that could be from eight till half nine that could be from nine till twelve it's very very loose it all depends on her depends if we are going out um what else happens you have another feed she's taking she's about to start taking seven ounces she i don't know her feet are very off like sometimes she'll take six sometimes she'll take seven it's it's just one of those things sometimes she'll take four um then me and p have lunch and we play and do whatever when florence naps in the afternoon she normally has like a good two to three hour nap in the afternoon again couldn't tell you times because i don't know uh she then wakes up sits in a high chair <laughs> goes on her mat she loves her jumper uh she loves bouncing in that don't you don't you yeah um and normally she has a feed at about seven half seven and then she then goes down for the night and sleeps all the way through we've been very lucky she's been a very very good sleeper i couldn't tell you when she cut out her bottles from the middle of the night she just started doing it she would go from like having a feed at about nine o'clock at night and then going through until like three or four um and that was fine and then she'd then sleep from like say half three to like seven ish in the morning and that was fine and then one day she'd do it and sleep all the way through and then the next night she wanted a feed so i just went with that i went with whatever she wanted to do i didn't pressure her into doing anything i want to say she's been sleeping through since it's definitely the, like the last two months um everyone said oh wait for four months sleep regression i don't believe it's a thing she didn't go through anything if anything it worked best in our favor if there is even a sleep regression uh she didn't regress she didn't cluster feed or do any of that um she's just but i can see a wasp outside um yeah she's just smashed it herself i haven't forced it if she wakes up at like half five i'll put her dummy in uh, just to sort of see her through to like six half six and she's absolutely fine um what else what else can i say about you she loves to stand on her feet so if i hold her she looks like a starfish she's very stiff she has been she's always been really stiff just like me um what are you looking at me are you looking at me um she loves to stand on her feet if i like hold her underneath her arms she loves to sit up she gets a little bit aggy if she's lying down for too long she's rolling over and she gets her hand stuck so she looks like a seal when she rolls over which is really funny um and she gets get cross don't you because you can't get your hands out and you get real aggy hey um she's pretty much burping on her own now which is crazy bath time she's still in her bath seat but she should really be in her like her city up one as opposed to the angel care lay flat one and i'm literally going to swap that out today um that's just because it's been up in the attic and i haven't been bothered to get it down but i got it down last night she is still in her like the lay down carry cot in the car in the push chair again just out of ease like whenever we do go out she does tend to like to have a little sleep it just sort of sends her off to sleep she sleeps a lot in the car she's still in her like the carry car seat as well like the one that's got the adapters um i reckon i'll pop her into the joey one when it goes rear facing um that's from birth to seven i believe that's what that is so p's old car seat p's now in a high back booster um i reckon once i've got like the school run routine down i'm gonna 
pop her into the big big car seat and then that means she'll then be in a stroller which i just just can't quite believe hey florence she definitely knows her name florence hello <laughs> florence hello <coughs> oh she's registered as well so i finally got to register her birth i think it was august um so six months after she was born which was a very weird experience neil wasn't able to go i had to go on my own but you're finally a human being aren't you i just love her i just love just love her little face and everyone says how happy she is she's such a happy and content little baby um there's not a lot you could do that would piss her off or make her upset she's just so happy she's very observant she just sits and watches whatever p does or if we're out she'll sit and watch if she's just in her car seat um she loves knowing what's going on she loves to sit up like i said as opposed to lying down and she's sort of grown out of the cuddle fall asleep stage which does hurt my heart but i used to love snuggling with her um and like just relaxing and she just she just won't she's just got eyes on the prize all the time um so she'll sit like this for a long time but if i wanted to lie down and give her a cuddle she's bolt upright she wants to know what's going on don't you yeah i think she's getting teeth at the bottom you can see them coming through i don't want to see your tongue i don't want to see it i don't want to keep it away <laughs> uh she had one of her jabs so she's all vaccinated now which is brilliant isn't it you're a very big brave girl when it comes to your jabs she's just the dream my dad came over the other day and i was like i don't think i've ever heard her cry and i was like yeah it's because she's just great um and that's not because p was a whingy cry baby at all p was a really good baby uh but florence just she's just the golden child she's happy she smiles she laughs she feeds she burps she wee she poos and she sleeps really well and she's just an absolute joy aren't you i'm so happy with her name i'm obsessed with it i'm so happy that we went with that martha was obviously my top choice if you've been watching that or if you watch my pregnancy videos um she does not look like a martha at all as much as i love the name i just don't i don't ever think that babies don't look like a name but i just look at her and i'm like no you're a florence you're not a martha florence she's just so i just oh just i just can't um what's going on she loves the cat she loves her sister don't you you like watching peppa pig yeah oh, my God. Oh, you had me up quite early today didn't you hey yes should we answer some questions then what are you doing what are you doing with the tongue <laughs> what are you doing what are you doing I don't want you to suck my hand right so like i said i hope um my little rambling was interesting probably not but i'm mainly doing it for myself um i put on my youtube community page whatever it's called um questions so i'm going to do so i'm just going to answer them i've got quite a lot so apologies if this goes on um so my most liked question what's her routine answer that such as how milk she's had answer that six ounces how often and how you get her to sleep is she sleeping through the night how many times is she up do you have to rock her to sleep does she soothe herself etc my son has always been a bad sleeper so any tips would be appreciated well i feel sorry for you because bad sleep is just not good for anyone um unfortunately i don't have any tips i have literally just done it from florence i have just followed her lead she has never been a rocky baby and p was and i think that's again where the difference is in the sense of 
when I had Pete, I had no experience. I had no fucking clue what I was doing. Um, at all. Like, I'd never had any experience having children, nieces and nephews. Obviously, I've got Neil's nieces and nephews, but that's through being with him and having being married to him. I don't have any siblings myself. Um, and as a child growing up, I was never really around children or babies. I was always around adults or people of my age. Um, so when P cried, I picked her up and I rocked her and I soothed her, but I, it made it worse in the long run because I was making a rod off my own back, whereas with Florence, obviously if she cried for a long period of time, I would pick her up and I would deal with her and sort her out. But if she was okay to fuss and then have her dummy and fall asleep that way, then that is how we've done it. She is a snuggler, which is one thing that P wasn't. So <clears throat> Florence, when she goes to sleep, she has these blankets. I make them myself. They're crochet, big granny squares. Um, and she is obsessed with them. I had a blanket when I was small. My mum gave it to a charity shop. I'm still not over that. And she gave that away like 15 years ago. It's still not okay. Um, I had a bunny and a it was a really pretty quilted blanket you can see with her now what she does is this one's can i have she puts her fingers in it if you did want to crochet one of these i've used a size six hook so it's quite big i was quite worried that if i used a small hook uh, fingers could get caught and loss of circulation but you can see i've, I've obviously got adult hands uh, and they're fine um there's no getting caught in there um, I drape it over one shoulder like that and then drag it through her legs so then she sat on it you're not going to be able to see but it's safe and I hate to say it but she likes to drape it over her face and she just loves to snuggle it makes her feel comfort and things like that and this is her comfort it doesn't matter which one it is as long as she's got a blanket which is why I'm crocheting like no tomorrow because she just loves them. So she loves to snuggle and make herself comfortable. If I were to lie down with her in, in the bed, I've never co-slept. Mm. No, I haven't co-slept. She slept me a couple times because I just, just wanted a baby cuddle. Um, but if I were to like try and snuggle with her and fall asleep, she wouldn't have it. She likes to be on her own um, and just be left to her own device as long as she's got a blanket. I don't know where the blanket snuggling thing came from. It just started from nowhere. You've just had a two hour nap, my woman. You just had a two hour nap. Um, but yeah, she just likes to snuggle with this. She has a dummy and she sleeps through. I wish I had some advice. White noise helps, um, that really helped with P. I have an app called, is it called just Rain? Yeah, Rain Rain. And I actually use this myself. It's the middle one with the raindrop. Can you see that? Probably not. Um, that was free to download and I use this every day for me because it just relaxes me. Um, and you've got loads and loads of different choice. Oh, fuck it. Hang on. You've got loads of different choices. Um, and there is white noise on there in the sense of, what is it called? You've got like dishwasher, clothes dryer, washing machine, car in the rain. My favourite one is Beach Bonfire. It's one that I've been listening to lately. Um, thunderstorms. So if you need a sound to help, sometimes I use this in the push chair if we're out and she just needs to calm down. Um, that's a good little thing to have. A couple questions about weaning in the sense of, how will I do it this time? Will I be doing it differently to pee? Have I started? How have I found it? Will I be doing puree lead? Will I be doing baby lead? Or like spoon fed, whatever it is. What will I be doing? So I cannot believe I weaned pee at four months. Bear in mind how small she was. I cannot believe it. That again, that's first time mum syndrome. Like you see a packet and it says from four to six months and you think shit. My baby's four months old, like I need to wean her. Definitely not, I wasn't, she wasn't ready, I wasn't ready, but I just thought that's what you had to do. And again, because I had no, do you mind? Let's not put that in your mouth. Dirty. Um, because I had no experience, and again, I was the first person out of all my friends to have a baby, um, I didn't have anyone to be like, should I be doing this? I didn't know. Um, like I said, Florence is about to turn six months and I would say she's she's getting there to being ready. 
I am not because it's just another thing isn't it I've just sort of mastered what we've got going on and that's all now going to change when school runs come into play and then when weaning comes in I'm not ready for it she watches me if I'm eating my toast or eating some food um she watches me drink my tea and if I like put my cup to her mouth she like spits all around it um have you got a scratch on your face can I see what have you got you've got a spot there um yeah so she is paying an interest she can obviously sit up and support herself um when she's in her high chair and her bumbo and things like that so she's getting there to being ready i have always said that i am not going to start weaning until school run is properly down and we're sorted with that P's transitional period into reception is very long it's a three week thing why is my battery flashing i've literally just charged it um yeah her transition is is quite a long process so until P sorted i will then start thinking and looking into weaning whether it will be how i did it last time i loved making my purees and doing it all myself last time i thoroughly enjoyed doing it and p really enjoyed it too i just don't know if what we did previously is going to suit what florence needs i have a feeling she's going to be a baby led weaned baby um she's just i don't know she just seems different i can't explain it she just i don't know i can just see her gumming a bit of pasta and a bit of bread and i if i can i don't really want to do that because i don't deal with the crumbs and the mess and i know that that's stupid and obscene but that's just how i am i can't deal with the mushy hands and stuff around their face i know it's part and parcel of weaning but it makes me feel slightly ill um because i'm neurotic but I'm going to see, again, I'm just going to see how it goes with Florence. I haven't got a structured plan as how this is going to be. And Oh my God, you've got to have your baby rice at this time. I'm just going to take it with a pinch of salt. I'm going to start weaning how I did with P, start with baby rice for like a week, then maybe porridge for breakfast and like start a little routine and then gradually introduce vegetables and fruit and things like that. If I find that that doesn't work and purees aren't right for Florence and she, she needs like more substance and she wants to chew things <laughs> um, <laughs> then that is what will be and i'll change it i'll adapt it to however she wants to go i will do that um but i'm not planning on doing it anytime soon i will hopefully start by october um we shall see i have just done a battery change as you can see she was literally just rolled what are you doing? Can you roll back this way for me? Can you roll? There we go. Can I take your bib off? That's a good girl. Um, right, next question is... Products you've loved second time round. I'm not going to answer that in this video. I do want to do a, like a baby favourites video at some point. Kid. okay i've had a couple of the same questions what's it like with two is it like you thought how does it feel i've just had my second and it was not how i expected it was so much harder but fine now just so different at first um how is it with two it i don't want to come across really smug because that is not me at all if you watch my pregnancy videos i was absolutely cacking it and i was like oh my god obviously i didn't say that i thought i was going to hate it but i thought i was going to hate it and actually are you okay she's just just chilling um actually it's been fine i i can't believe i'm saying that like i was so scared so nervous so anxious questioned every single day what i was doing um and now i have her i think oh my god i can't believe i contemplated not having her um she has just fitted into our lives so perfectly she's such a dream she's such a character and i feel complete i remember watching these videos and everyone's saying like oh like she's completed us or they've completed us blah 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 and i was like oh whatever like you're just talking out your ass when actually i feel complete with florence like i just i think it makes me sound horrible against p and that's not at all but i just feel like she's completed our family and like we are 
our little unit and I, I love that. I don't have the urge to have any more children. Not that I ever had the urge anyway because I'm not necessarily maternal but she's made me more maternal. Um, I have just taken it like a duck to water if I do say so myself. Um, so many of my friends and family have said how more relaxed I am compared to what I was previously when I just had pee or when I was pregnant. Everyone thought I was, I am, I am incredibly highly strung. Even now, even after I've had Florence and I'm more mellow, I'm still very highly strung. And I think a lot of people thought it would send me the other way. And it hasn't. If anything, it's chilled me out. Like the whole routine thing. I was such a routine, structured person with pee. Are you okay? Um, whereas with Florence, I'm like, whatever. Like, whatever works. Like, I just... I don't know if that's me just giving up caring <laughs> and wanting an easier life for myself. I have no clue. But she's just slotted in. Obviously, you have your difficult days. Yesterday was harder than what it was today. But my mother-in-law's got pee today. So she's out having fun and I'm just having time with Florence. Yesterday, Florence was fussing a little more and her naps were broken because she was just really fussy and uncomfortable. You have your days and you go to bed and you get over it and you wake up the next day and it's a new fresh slate again. Um, at the moment, it's not difficult. Give me six months time when she's on the move, I'll probably really struggle again. Um, but again, it's all about the demanding and that's what I struggle with is like the wanting of something and wanting it yesterday, the lack of patience and the whinging. That's what I really struggle with. Um, and P's very, very demanding, isn't she? Yes, yes she is. As much as she's a dream um, and very, very good and well behaved girl, um, she's just a little bit intense whereas Florence is, she's not that at the moment and I know she will get into that point but at the moment I'm just, just living in the moment and really enjoying it. It is different to how I thought it would be because I'm enjoying it a lot more. <laughs> um, I didn't think I would so yeah. I just, I don't know, I couldn't imagine my life without her. I couldn't imagine going back just to having one, one child. Hey, or two, including the cat, if you will. Uh, what's next? Do, 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 do. Are you on a schedule like you were with Pete? I know your routine was very important to you. Uh, so like I've said, as you, as you can tell by that comment, I was very structured. I think once we get into school routine, I will be more structured and I will follow more of a routine and be a little bit more stricter. Not strict, but a little bit more stressy. Uh, I hope I don't go stressy again, but we'll just see. I'm more aware of it now, um, so I'm hoping that that won't be the case. Um, but yeah, I think once we get into a, more of a structured routine as a family, then things will just slot into place a lot more. But I'm not going to be like a soldier and be like, right, it's 6.15, bath. Uh, when slash if allowed, will you take her to any baby group? Perfectly honest, I don't know. I would like to, and I had every intention to, and then Corona happened and ruined everyone's plans. Um, I'm gonna wait and see. If Florence is up and about and crawling and stuff and say, I mean, I'm guaranteed she'll be crawling by Christmas, which I'm not okay with. My poor Christmas tree is gonna have to go on like, a table or something. Um, what was I saying? Baby groups. I don't know. I'm just going to play it by ear. If I feel like I want to go to them, then I will. If I don't, I won't. Um, I did regret not going to them when I had pee, and I'm going to see what's open. I just can't think of anything worse at the moment than sitting in like a village hall or uh, wherever their hell's, because I don't know, because I've never been to them, like wearing a mask and having to ante back and hand sand the shit out of my like small baby like I don't want to do that I hate wearing a mask obviously I know we have to do it for safety reasons I just I just don't like it I get hot I get sweaty and I don't enjoy it so I'm gonna see when Florence is at that point I don't see the point on going now starting singing songs and waving sensory things around her I don't need to do that um I don't, what is in like I don't need to go to like a, a group to do that um when she's crawling, I'm just going to wait and see. And if I feel like it's something that we need to do, then obviously I will. 
Do you find it hard not to compare Florence slash her development to P or other babies? Um, I don't necessarily, I, I do compare them obviously because I'm their mum and I feel like that's what mums do. <laughs> um, but I don't necessarily compare them in a bad way in my mind. I look back and compare Florence to P and I think about how far behind P actually was. I don't know if Florence is growing at the rate of what she should be in the sense of milestones. Do you mind? Do you mind? No? Um, Florence could be ahead of the milestones. I don't know what they are. I don't look into them because I don't want to cause stress and ag on myself. Um, but looking back at how Florence is compared to how P was is worlds apart. P walked and crawled at 13 months. She didn't cut her first tooth till 13 months. So she was always quite behind. Um, but look at her now. She knows the alphabet. She can count to like 25, 30. She knows how to spell her name. Like she's just suddenly caught up. Whereas I feel like Florence is gonna do it quite steadily. Whereas P, did a chunk and then nothing and then did another chunk when it came to speaking and now she's fluent and she doesn't she's never quiet she's never quiet and I love quiet <laughs> um so yeah I compare development in that aspect but I don't see it as a bad thing at all I'm not comparing them as if like Florence you need to be doing this at this point or P did this at this point I don't compare it in a negative way I just think oh P would have been like on purees by now whereas Florence is still on milk like it's not I don't do it in a negative way and I never compare my children to other children because it's not going to get you anywhere how Ellie's children is completely different to how my children are but again it could be down to parenting and raising and your values compared to mine like it's complete are you done poo brilliant um yeah, it's completely different, so I don't feel like you you can compare to other people. Um, but just take it with a pinch of salt. Who am I? I've changed. This is not okay. Um, again, baby worst blessed by second time round. I'm going to do our baby favourites. Um, I haven't really brought anything new this time, so I don't think I have a worst product. I know you said that Florence will be your last. How does that make you feel now? Um, fine. Like I said, I feel... <laughs> Florence. Come here. Have you done a poo? No. You just did a trump. You just did a stinky trump. Um, I feel fine knowing that she's my last. I couldn't go through it again. I don't want to go through it again. I don't want to put my body through it. I feel so lucky and blessed that I have had two textbook births so fast. Two hours start to finish with Florence. I have two beautiful, healthy children. I don't want to take my risks. Like, oh, sorry, three. I've, I've got three beautiful children. Um, oh, don't go in front of the camera. Root. Move. Thank you. Um... I don't want to do it again. We haven't got the room and I feel complacent with who we've got. One thing that I absolutely love that I never really thought about is seeing the children's bonds. Um, obviously I don't have that because I am an only child and I absolutely love just looking at P looking at Florence and Florence looking at P and just the pure love and admiration that they have for each other. P is absolutely besotted by her. As soon as she wakes up in the morning, Rue, will you go away? She's like, oh, good morning, Florence, morning, morning, you okay, do you have a good sleep? Like, she's just so caring. And that's one thing I never really thought about was, like, how they would be with each other. And it just fills my heart. I couldn't imagine having a third. I've already started selling my stuff, so I'm not having one. Um... It makes me feel sad that, like, the baby phase is over and I see other babies and I'm like, oh, but that was you and now you're not like that. But, look, she's just obsessed with Rue. Are you looking at your sister? 
yes um but i'm okay with it i'm excited for the future and what that has to hold how did i find my recovery giving birth to florence was it easier for you second time round? pain etc um to be honest i can't even remember it because i'm just the type of person that just cracks on and just gets on with stuff um i didn't really have time to sit and dwell obviously it's painful you've pushed a baby out your nun like it's not going to be enjoyable um but because i'd already had a baby as in Flo um p and i've already got her to worry about as well as the house and the cat and everything else in between and the baby and me and neil You've got so many other things going on in your head like you just go on the back foot and you just for me anyway i just got on with it yes it was painful yes it wasn't enjoyable and my boobs were like the size of a house uh, and that was really sore and tender but i think if you sit and dwell on it for too much you make it a lot worse whereas if you just think okay that's uncomfortable i'm gonna take some paracetamol three times a day and i'm just gonna get on with my day and just take it easy as and where you can then um I don't know, that's just what worked for me. I found my recovery... I can't remember. Did I find it quicker? I honestly couldn't tell you. I would say I found it quicker, but that's because I was more straight to the point. Um, whereas with P, I got an infection, so that took me a long time to recover. Um, but when it comes to like my stomach and stuff, that's still... like If I put a, like, a pair of jeans on, above the jeans so from below my bra to the top of my jeans i've got like it's like hard but not like abs hard like pregnant hard and then i've got my flabby mum tum so i've got like two stomachs i've got like my rolly squishy bit and then i've got like my hard bit it's very very weird and I, i've still got that and six months down the line and um, i wasn't expecting that periods have been fine since birth as well like that's been no issue if anything my periods are now better than what they were when they were with pee i used to get really horrible cramps and like just not nice pain after i had pee whereas with florence it sort of like corrected that i guess uh, i'm not too how do you manage to attend their needs when you are alone ipad <laughs> if i'm being perfectly honest if I'm busy feeding Florence or doing something that needs my attention and I cannot do whatever he needs me to do, I'm like, go on your iPad or go on your phone. When I say phone, she has a really old, I think it's like an iPhone 4 with no SIM card, it's attached to our Wi-Fi, so she watches YouTube on it. So I'm like, go on your phone for half an hour and I'll be with you once I finish feeding Florence. That is how I've managed to get through it all. She's like, okay, mummy, and thinks I'm the best mum in the world because that's all she wants to do is sit and watch telly or watch YouTube all day. Um, iPad and snacks, that gets you through. And also just letting her do what she wants. Again, before Florence, I was very neurotic and I was like, no, you're not getting that out because it makes too much mess. Um, I've now started letting P mix her Play-Doh colours, which... I might it might seem really trivial to some people but to me like that's a big deal albeit i've brought different play-doh for her to mix the colors but she's like mommy i want to play with my mixed play-doh color and i'm like okay that's fine and i'll just let her do what she wants within reason um i've just had to be a lot more lax and just let P do what she wants to do it's been a big transitional change for her and that's one thing that i've really tried to stay aware of she wasn't able to go to school for like four months. She then had a sister and wasn't allowed to see any of her friends and family for a long period of time. And then to then throw in like a erratic mum just wasn't right. So I had to change my ways. As much as it hurt me inside, um, I had to stop being so controlling and lift that off of P so then she can just do her thing because she went through a lot as well um but day to day getting through it ipad and snacks uh, and then when florence is asleep we do like our stuff so we made best friend bracelets the other day and then we did hammer beads and i try and do it so like when florence is asleep 
like it's something that we'll talk about so I'm like once Florence has had a nap we can do our bracelets today or once Florence has had like when Florence is napping we can go and read that book we got from the library and I make that one or two things very exciting for her so then it's something for her to look forward to if that makes sense that's how I get through it here's my random chatty six month update Q&A whatever you want to call it I hope I'm um, I helped answer some of your questions I am now going to go what should we go do don't know, you don't really do a lot, do you? <gasps> right, so we are gonna go. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Do you want a cuddle? Good girl. Um, yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and we will see you all in our next video. Won't we, Florence? Can you say bye-bye? Say bye. Bye. Oosh, 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 oosh. Mwah!